guys, here we are, next matchup of the night then. We're going to have Daniel McCabe up against Jakub Kurt. So Daniel coming out of Forza Gym, Jakub coming out of Evo Gym. Um, so Jakub, the younger brother of Yusuf Kurt. So Yusuf Kurt, currently amateur, currently in Thailand now. Oh, nice. Training over in Thailand for a year, so... Um, so yeah, Yusuf come onto the scene, what, September 21, I believe, and obviously building his way through the amateur ranks. This kid, ground game, for his age, is one of the best I've ever seen. Really? Uh, he rolled with me, and I remember the message of his, his coach, Adam, saying, I rolled with him, and I, because I'm obviously outweighed him by about 30 kilos, um, I said to him, I went easy on him. So the first thing he did, he jumped in and he armbarred me. And I was like, right, okay, that was a one-off. Right, then he, he, he bare him bowed into, a, or Eminari rolled into a heel hook. And really? I'm like, wow, man, yeah. it's got like a white belt 16-year-old. <laughs> uh, cool. But awesome, awesome ground game. So, and then making his debut tonight as well. Making his amateur debut. Brilliant. What a hype around this kid. What a, and the hype is real. The hype is real. Eminari rolls and uh, Baron Bulls aren't usually <laughs> the weapons of white belts. No, no, definitely not. But he does a lot of training with Aidan Balfour. Aidan Balfour is oh, nice, uh, head coach over at, uh, oh sorry, the jiu-jitsu coach over at Evo Gym. And he also goes over to Marcus Nardini's on a Saturday morning, which is a competition class. Oh, cool. And 16 year old, and he's in there rolling with, I mean you're talking about black belts, some of the top black belts, Chris Duncan goes over, used to have Paul Craig and so on going over there as well. So a lot of people come from all over Scotland to go to Marcus's Saturday morning classes. And Jakub's one of them, and he's definitely reaping the benefits of being in there. He's rolling with people like Andrew McNeely. Andrew McNeely is a, a, one of the kids at the Grip House, I think he's about 14 year old, and he's probably the best, whatever belt he is, I can't remember if it's a grey belt or whatever, but he's the best in the UK. And his sister, Katie, is about a year, year of a difference, and she's the best female grappler at that age and belt level in the whole of the UK, so he's getting a roll with people like that on a regular basis. You can't. And look at him smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's about to get into a fight here and he's, he's smiling. You can't replace that, that yeah. high level grappling, like the iron sharpens iron kind of thing. You know, but then, don't get me wrong, he's striking. It's going to be awesome as well. Coming out, Adam Stevenson, oh. his striking is going to be unbelievable. looking to push here, so you're looking to drop down here for shooting in. Yeah, he got pushed off balance there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he took a big hit there. Yeah. Shooting for that double leg, Steve. Oh, nice. Bit of a scramble on the ground here. Interesting to see who comes out. Ooh. Yeah, see that's uh, a nice head kick there by Jakob. And again, Daniel, Daniel McCabe. Obviously, let's not forget about him. As again, another great young talent. Oh, oh nice sweep there from Jakob. There he is. Yeah, Daniel coming out again. Forza Jim. Forza well represented tonight. Uh, but Jakob looks to have taken top mount here. Look at the posture up and land some strikes. He's got options here, he's got strikes. Daniel's arms are up quite high, so he's got potential arm bars here as well. Yeah, yeah, they are he's right the there for an right armbar. So that, that's setting up for the armbar. Top mount's really strong. Really good. Even with the bridges, he's 
he's riding them and he's striking straight away. Oh, oh looking for a mountain triangle maybe. Yeah, staying on that top mount. Man. So doesn't punch himself out here. Yeah. Daniel McCabe doesn't really have an answer for for Jakob's strikes here. Yeah, the referee's just saying, look, he's yeah. not going to want to keep going. He's not, like, really hurting. None of them are landing heavy, but... Oh, wow. Stop it there. You know what, that, that's the, in the interest of safety for the yeah, fighter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There must have been, what, 30 unanswered strikes yeah. there. Never looked like he was escaping. I can understand why Danny McKay would be annoyed. But, what a performance by Jakob Kurt. Yeah, Jakob. The, the hype is real. Yeah, we, listen, we didn't even get to see much in the ground game, no. apart from a ground and pound. We didn't really get to see any jujitsu, any grappling, proper grappling. So, yeah, we've not even seen it yet. <laughs> so, we haven't seen it at all. Wow, what a prospect. Good start, really, really good start. I remember his brother, I think his brother was like 16 or 17 when he first started. And I remember watching every one of Yusuf's fights and being there, apart from I think one or two. Um, and he was awesome to watch. Again, same kind of came in, just happy to be there, and just went in and just had a fight. So, um, and again, great ground game on him as well. So, but definitely want to watch, want to watch in the future. Fantastic.